Hi ladies, we are discussing today the right red lip for you and everyone should be able to have a red lip. And I'm here today with my fantastic lineup. It's like that movie, The Usual Suspects, but we're gonna go through different skin, hair, eye colors and show you what we've chosen for each lady. So I'm gonna switch the camera around there. And we're gonna start with Marit. Hello Marit. Hello. You can talk to me. So hop in the show yet. So Marit has got blue eyes, beautiful blue eye Marit. Dark blue eye, a very blonde hair. Is that your natural blonde? No. But you're, you're a blonde. I'm very aren't blonde, you? yes. And a sort of pinky toned, paler skin. And you're wearing a stripe. And I always love a red lip with a stripe. Do you wear a red lip often? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. So reveal. There she is. Now, this red lip is great for Marit because she's got a clear skin which can take a slightly, I would call it a slightly, just a, a pure red, or there's a slight pinkiness to the red, and your skin tone looks beautiful, your hair looks the best blonde it can be, and it's not wearing you. So that's why I love it. Okay, now we're moving on to... Oh, which one are you wearing now? Because <laughs> everyone will want to know. I'm wearing Fatal Red by Maybelline. Fatal Red by Maybelline. Okay, now we're moving on. Federica. Hello. So, Federica, how often do you wear a bright lip? Never. Never. Okay, keep, never. keep it coming. Yeah, keep it coming. <laughs> now, now, Federica has blonde hair, that northern Italian beautiful blonde. It's mainly all natural ladies. There's yeah. not much highlighter there, which is just gobsmackingly gorgeous. She's got a warm brown eye, but it's quite dark, and you have a, what I call a olive skin, but it's kind of sallow olive skin. Yep. So sometimes you can look quite washed out, yes. if you know, or, or feel tired when you look in the mirror. So does a bright lip wake you up or not? Reveal That's it. it. You see, look at Federica now. That is a beautiful red. And do you see what's happened to Federica's hair color? It's just become an even more luscious blonde. And that's what a red lip can do for you. Which one are you wearing? I'm wearing Military Red by Burberry. Military Red by Burberry. And I love it. You love it. Oh, God. OK, take the camera from me. OK, I'm just going to quickly do myself. Yes. So, in the lineup. Come on, come on. <laughs> that was, I mean, there's everyone doing it better than me. But I think wearing a red lip for me can be tricky because it depends what I'm wearing underneath. So when I wear a red lip, I'm good to not wear black everywhere, but to wear white. So whoop, whoop. if I have white here, it's, it's sort of, the white is as strong as the red lip, so it doesn't wear me. And if I just wear it with black, it's quite tough. And I'm wearing L'Oreal's Blake Lively's Red. And I love it. It makes me feel good, don't you? Well, you can't reveal yet. I can't. Now we've got Chloe. Let's move Chloe. on to Chloe. So Chloe has got a cool brunette hair. She's got a slightly lighter brown eye than Federica. She's uh, yes, and she's got an olive skin, which is not so. Um, it's kind of more of a pure olive, whereas Federica is a more yellowy, what I call sallow olive. So for you, a bright red lip might just wear you, but instead you're wearing... Uh, ox blood. Ox blood. <laughs> and the reason ox blood works so well on, Federica, uh, on Chloe, and what it does for Chloe, is suddenly her eyes look even brighter because this color is really popping her eye. And with that dark hair color, this is just unbelievably beautiful and your skin looks luminous and if instead just to give you an idea mm -hmm. if you were wearing that which you can't I don't know if you can see but it would start to make your skin tones look redder and that's what we don't want to do we want to to bring out the best and that one does it what are you wearing and it's removed by Kate in 107 Okay, so it's after Kate Moss I think yeah. uh, and because she does run London now we're moving on cover up cover up we're moving on to Anna and Anna, we always have trouble with Anna because Anna has a hair colour that's unusual and isn't her natural colour. Many of us don't have natural colour. But Anna is olive, but you're a pale olive. You've got a very dark brown eye and she has a sort of what I call an auburn reddish hair. So, show your lip. Show your lip. Mm. So we've chosen a more tomato -y lip colour, which is beautiful. But I want to show you how a red lip changes when you wear different colours. So this is that kind of warmth, beautiful rust colour that really suits Anna. She suits all those colours of autumn. 
But with Zhum Zhum white, mm. suddenly this lip becomes cool and funky and younger. And then you can put a little bit of black eyeliner and you can kind of feel you're out for a night on the town. I think Valentine's Day is soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing, Anna? Uh, it's Regiment Red by Burberry. Regiment mm -hmm. Red by Burberry. Expensive for Burberry lips, but we've used quite a few because they're. It's fantastic. Yeah, it is fantastic. Okay, there you go. Now we have Joyce. Gorgeous. Oh, Joyce. Joyce is a newcomer here, and I hope Joyce will feature more because Joyce has the most incredible colouring. And Joyce has an olive skin, but it's a darker shade. It's, it's got incredible clarity, Joyce's skin. And she's chosen to put a little tint in her hair, this sort of slight bluish tint, um, exaggerating the blackness of your hair. And you don't really put much. How often do you wear a lip? No, basically not really. Basically not really. <laughs> so, reveal Joyce. Look, but Joyce is like, you have the most amazing face, Joyce, but it's so, it's like, what should a red lip do? It should make you walk in a room, people go, hi, Joyce. And that's what I love about it. And do we have here yeah, the jacket? We don't have the jacket. But what I wanted to show is, and we don't have anything dark, but also with your coloring, in fact, I'm gonna take off Chloe's jacket okay. and show something, yes. Hold that there, because wearing this lip with your jumper that you came today mm -hmm. is one thing. But going out in the evening and seeing how that colour slightly changes when you're wearing this really dark bottle green. And it takes on a slightly more orangey tint because it's not being drained by the jumper that you came in, Joyce, because you didn't think you'd come in wearing a red lip, did you? No. <laughs> but it's exquisite and still her skin tone is beautiful, the hair is looking glossy and the eyes are popping. Okay? Fantastic. And last but not least, we got Swirla. Now, you have got a sort of, I would say, a caramel skin, a brown eye that's probably similar to Federica's actually, it's not that much darker, and would you call your hair black or very dark brown? Uh, very dark brown. Very dark brown, yeah. okay. So, I would think that you would suit many bright colour lips, but do you wear them? Never. Never. She <laughs> never wears a bright lip. Okay, reveal. <gasps> so, okay, have we got any on our teeth? No, we haven't. Now, this is verging on a pinkier shade, but it's a really soft, beautiful shade on you. Your eyes have become these pieces of chocolate. They're so delicious. Your skin tone is glowing. It's not fighting with your complexion. And wonderful with navy, but would be great with white. This is the kind of red you can wear with any colour. What are you wearing? Um, it's the Kate Moss, well, Rimmel by Kate Moss, and it's 110 Rosetta. Oh, she's so organised. Ladies, <laughs> it's a short one today. We're in our new office, and can I just say something very quick? I just want to say a quick message to my Facebook ladies. It was my birthday yesterday, and I said to all the ladies on Instagram how fantastic you all are, and I would want to say the same to you because it gives me joy to have all of you as this community on Facebook and the community is growing and you all give incredibly good contributions and I love the fact and I want to thank you all how much you will answer each other's questions if I can't get back to you in time or Chloe can't get back to you in time or Anna or Federica but we're a team here we're building something special and um, anyway have a lovely day and wear some lipstick tonight it's Valentine's Day soon <laughs>